the education industry is full of business opportunities, which could improve the significant problems throughout the system. Let's look specifically at what these problems are, how entrepreneurs have already begun addressing them, and how an entrepreneur like you could contribute your own ideas. Since 2007, the National Assessment of Education Progress has reported zero progress in America's education system. Educational productivity of the late 90s and early 2000s boasted record high marks. But now it's been almost 15 years since our national stagnation began. How do our students fare? They struggle to thrive in a world they haven't been remotely prepared for. During the Industrial Revolution, students were processed in bulk, like a factory, to prepare them for relatively simple futures. Over the years, innovation and expansion on these systems have been suppressed by the pressure from standardized performance markers. The U.S. can't afford to keep making zero progress, since this stagnation leaves us primed to be surpassed in the fields of medicine, technology, global leadership, and even happiness by players across the oceans. Schools in the U.S. are now spending $8.4 billion on EdTech annually in an attempt to keep up, but $5.6 billion worth of investments are completely unused. One student in need of a tailored solution was Amir Nathu. Having grown up in the mid-80s, coding and computer science classes were pretty rare. At age five, he dabbled with basic coding on an 8-bit computer. Amir's interest grew from that little seed, but he had no one to guide his passion. And then they found me a mentor outside of school when they realized my interest. And that, more than anything, has influenced my career. The organization he started decades later, OutSchool, offers 50,000 live online classes and has made $45 million in teacher earnings over the past three years alone. OutSchool now inspires the world's learners by providing virtual, individualized learning activities led by a teacher of the family's choosing. Launched in 2017 by Amir Nathu, Nick Grandy, and Mikhail Saragin, OutSchool allows students to accelerate their learning and discover topics independently. Learning can come from many different sources, and that includes professional teachers, but also includes amateurs and mentors. Teachers should be everyone's second job. As the country attempts to break free of the mold, especially right now, communities search for more voices to actually bring those changes. How can your voice make a difference? Entrepreneurial minds are uniquely positioned to act on these problems, especially when they stay engaged in their communities and listen to real needs. How can we begin? By identifying those pain points. There isn't one sweeping answer, because there isn't one problem or one type of learner. When thinking about what you can do, ask yourself, what topics could students be shifting their focus to? How do they best learn? What are they doing when the school day is done? How do factors like diet and exercise affect learning? All of these problems are opportunities that require active solutions. That's just the start. Homeschooling parents need assistance with difficult subjects. Students need extracurriculars and summer programs that can train and occupy them in productive ways. And more traditional schools need thinkers, tools, and technology to help them adapt. We see so many problems and opportunities in education that you know, we try and tackle everything at once. And you know, startups um, know that you have to start in a very, very small way in order to make anything happen. And action is far more important than big plans. Trade and career skills are a solid example. Research has made clear that career readiness is a vital component of education. However, only one US state requires students to complete a career readiness course. Consider selling bundled lessons on real-world skills, which 81% of recent high school dropouts say would have kept them in school. What skills would help students? What else do they want to learn? Consider offering subjects that traditional schools cannot or do not have. Home economics, nature activities, and communication workshops can allow children to exercise their brains while having fun. The amount of potential here can be daunting. But here are the five steps to actually start a business of this industry. One, research. By watching videos like this and diving into studies, you're already doing it. Nice job. Canvas your community to find needs nearby and identify problems you already have experienced navigating. Explore these rabbit holes too, which can help you get to know the industry better and learn how different sectors can be served. Social emotional learning, self-directed classes, e-learning systems, career guidance, 
college alternatives, unique internships, school nutrition, understaffed industries, inequality with access to tech, after-school programs near you, education and daycares. Multiple studies show that nutrition, social-emotional learning, less lectures, and more contribute to performance. Two, rough out a business plan. We have templates on our website to keep things quick and easy. You'll begin narrowing down your audience, discovering your voice and brand, making decisions about monetization models, and sketching out your business structure. Business plans are considered living documents. Circle back to it as you plan and grow. Three, brainstorm some names. This isn't just vanity. It will need to be decided before registering your business or even to secure funding. Names are also a great rallying point to keep you excited and gauge others' interest. Make sure the name has an available domain and social media accounts. Here are some ideas we generated just for you to get things rolling. Four, when your name and branding is settled, make it official by registering your business. We generally recommend an LLC, but check out our guide to discover the other options. Five, get your licenses, permits, and insurance. In homeschooling and private settings, there actually aren't formal licenses in order to create extra materials or courses in most states. Each state does have their own guidelines when it comes to preparedness standards or offering class credits. Partnerships with secondary schools, established organizations, or brands may help you sell your services as they'll be seen as more credible. Essentially, show results from your students year after year and make parents happy. Double check with your township, city, state, smallest to largest, to make sure there are no other certificates you may need in your area, since every location in the U.S. has totally different rules. Think about who needs your support the most when thinking about starting your business. On the OutSchool platform, 500,000 learners from over 200 countries unite in small, diverse groups led by one passionate teacher to unearth a shared interest. What can you pass on to the next generation? Small businesses are the lifeblood of every community. We want you to be passionate and prepared for a lifetime of entrepreneurship. If you're looking for more inspiration, we made some free tools to generate ideas, find a name, and form your business. Find free resources and guides at truic.com.